Five years after rejuvenating Deus Ex with Human Revolution, IDOS Montreal is back to continue Adam Jensen's story and push the genre-blending gameplay forward in the next generation. Mankind Divided feels very much like its predecessor, but raises the bar on nearly every front. The story comes two years after Human Revolution. Augmented individuals are looked down upon, segregated, and increasingly shipped off to squalid ghettos. Jensen is now playing double agent. His day job has him with Interpol Task Force 29 working to stop augmented terrorists. Meanwhile, he's helping the secretive Juggernaut Collective spy on Interpol communications in order to find the shadowy members of the Illuminati who are pulling the strings, bending society to their own ends. Adam's immediate task is to track down who's responsible for a train station bombing in Prague, pitting him against corrupt local authorities, controversial political voices, and leaders of organized crime. Haven't seen one of these before. Orange level. You are some kind of badass? Just someone with a job to do. While Mankind Divided is as large or larger than Human Revolution, the story is more focused in scope. Locations are almost entirely based in Europe, and while there are high stakes, they don't raise to saving the world levels of drama, which is refreshing. More purposeful attention on the Illuminati moves the broader narrative forward, and as a result, Mankind Divided feels like a single episode of a larger story to come. One of the strongest aspects of the new Deus Ex is the world that's built around you. Details around every corner communicate what people are going through, stronger than conversations or hacked emails. Prague bears a grounded installation of futuristic elements within an older city that feels functional and livable. Individual apartments reflect their owners, whether it's a modest place plastered with cat posters or a lavish home trashed after a drug-fueled party. The markets of Gollum City are particularly dense and full of life, and returning to Prague at night gives the city an entirely different feel. It isn't just set dressing though. Mankind Divided is an explorer's dream and a completionist's nightmare. Most locations are riddled with secret pathways and alternate routes. Just taking a quick peek into the basement of a coffee shop can lead you to numerous tunnels twisting and turning beneath the city, leaving you with no idea where you might pop up. The city is dense with apartments to investigate, storage lockers to pop open, and vents to squeeze into. You can spend half your time surveying every corner and still wind up finding something new the next time you walk through. Essential to reaching all these places are Jensen's augments. Familiar abilities return like the Icarus landing system and the ability to punch through weakened walls. Smart Vision's gotten a major overhaul. Plus, the area-clearing Typhoon can now be configured to launch a cloud of non-lethal gas. However, Adam now has access to an all-new selection of experimental augmentations. Since he's not configured for these upgrades, there's an interesting concept presented in which you have to balance out overheating from the new augs by shutting off abilities you aren't using. Unfortunately, in practice, it's fairly meaningless, as we never shut anything off, and the only negative effect was some error messages on the HUD. The good news is that each of the new abilities is worthwhile, and they get even better with upgrades. On its base setting, the Icarus Dash can be tricky to land, but upgrading it allows you to target specific destinations, or forcefully knock over enemies. Remote hacking gives you domination over electrical devices, cameras, and robots, and unlocking any of the traversal options can make you see the world in a whole new light. Perhaps what's best about the augmentation system is that abilities aren't locked behind preconceived concepts of classes or lengthy skill trees. You're free to unlock augs in any order and build your character how you like. Stealth systems in Mankind Divided remain relatively unchanged as you attempt to stay behind cover and either slip by guards unnoticed or knock them out with melee takedowns or silent weapons like tranquilizer rifles and stun guns. Things get trickier in more open areas, with crisscrossing vertical levels. Just when you think it's safe to take someone out, you're right in someone else's line of sight. Making it through these situations unnoticed is quite gratifying. The cover system is still a little clunky, but it's a big improvement over Human Revolution, allowing you to quickly target new cover points to cross a room at just the right moment. Dragging bodies out of view really hasn't improved though, and manhandling the ragdolls both looks and feels incredibly awkward. The hacking minigame follows the same node capturing setup as before, but with better controls and more complexity. However, if you're not a fan of hacking, there's good news for you too, as you can now find and craft multi-tools that do all the hard work for you. Yeah. 
If you're more of a combat-oriented player, there's a bit more strategy introduced with new ammo types to do EMP damage or pierce armor. An enhanced crafting system allows you to upgrade aspects of each gun, like damage and ammo capacity. There's also a series of new controller shortcuts that make it easy to switch between weapons, although we found it to oddly swap to the wrong weapon at times. Plus, if you get tired of being the silent hunter, it can be a huge stress reliever to go on a rampage with new augs like the Titan Shield and slow-mo inducing focus enhancement. From how you build your character to how you enter a level, choice is a big part of Deus Ex, and from time to time, Mankind Divided will also throw some gut-wrenching story choices at you that don't have clear right answers. The boss-like, persuasive conversations make a return as well, and likewise, the best responses to convince your opponent can be a tough call, even with social augs activated. What happens to one happens to all of us. Unfortunately, the character modeling is a bit inconsistent, and facial animation can be stiff, falling short of what we expect from a game at the level of Deus Ex. As for other technical issues, we encountered some minor frame rate drops here and there, and at one point, half a level just randomly disappeared when we backtracked. Thankfully, it resolved itself eventually. While there are some technical hiccups, Mankind Divided also features a selection of top-notch side quests. Whether you're meeting up with the document forger, following the trail of a dangerous new drug, or investigating a grisly murder case, these moments introduce you to interesting new characters and intriguing revelations, making them feel absolutely worthwhile. On the flip side of that is Breach, a mode that's separate from the main story and has you taking the role of a hacker stealing data from corporate servers, which essentially translates to completing challenge rooms as fast as you can. Despite some common abilities, it just doesn't feel like it fits in, and it doesn't capture the experimentation and playfulness that you can get out of replaying sections of the main game. Mankind Divided isn't quite the deus ex game of our dreams, but it's a strong step in that direction. There's a high emphasis on choice and experimentation, killer side quests, and dense detailed levels that are a joy to explore. With momentum pushing towards the next chapter in the story, here's hoping it won't be another five years before we see Adam Jensen again. Easy Allies reviews are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com slash easyallies to see our other videos, and consider becoming a patron to help us make more.